Hey golfers, it's Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing. I have a soft budget golf ball versus premium golf ball test today. So I am going to test the Wilson Duo Soft. Wilson claims that this is the world's softest distance ball. So I'm going to test this versus a more premium golf ball, the Titleist Pro V1X. I'm going to hit five shots with a 50 degree wedge, a seven iron, and a driver. And then we're gonna analyze all the data and explain significant differences between the two golf balls. So I'm really excited to test to see whether paying for a more budget golf ball at around about 12 to $15 a dozen, or paying a little extra for the more premium golf ball really makes a difference. My guess right now would be that for a player of my skill level and higher swing speed for sure a Pro V1X golf ball probably would be the more better fit but it's going to be interesting to take a look at the data and compare numbers and show the importance in golf ball fitting as well. If you like this content please subscribe to our channel also give us comments and like our videos as well we have plenty more other great content coming your way in the future. I'm going to hit 30 golf shots right now and take a look and see what the data tells us. Let's take a look at the numbers and see if there are any major differences. Before I do that, I do just want to touch on the feel between the two golf balls. The Wilson Duo Soft, basically the word, the, the name of the ball explained it all of itself. It is a very soft, mushy feeling off the club face. It just feel like the ball was not really compressing off the face. Uh, it just, it didn't feel very good. I'm used to the probably one X feel or the more premium golf ball feel with a little firmer feel off the face. So I could definitely notice a huge difference in feel between the two. So I mentioned the probably one X, it just felt so much more solid off the club face. It just felt like the ball was going further. So let's look at the numbers and see if that is accurate. Um, my club speed with each test, so 50 degree wedge, basically the exact same, 7 iron, basically the exact same, driver, basically the exact same. We're talking 0.1 to 0.3 differences, so this would be a very good test with regards to numbers across the board. So let's first start with the 50 degree wedge and see if there's anything that stands out that is important to note. So my ball speed was 
two miles an hour faster with the Titleist Probe One X over the Wilson Dual Soft at 103.3 and 101.4 with the Wilson Dual Soft. If we look at the spin rate, spin's important with your wedges, so this is very, very important to take a look at. The bull did spin 1100, almost 1100 RPMs more with the Titleist Probe One X, 8900 RPMs on average, where the Wilson Dual Soft was 78.61. I also want to touch on consistency. The Probe One X spun consistently higher at plus or minus 244. The Wilson Dual Soft spun consistently lower at plus or minus 507. So it was spinning less and it was, it was a little bit more inconsistent. Carry distance with the wedge was basically the same because the board didn't really have a chance to get up in the air and carry two different. We'll notice 131 and 130 and a half. So pretty much the same carry distance, but the stopping power will change just a little bit because the bull was spinning about 1100 RPMs less with the wedge. So big difference there was Wilson Dual Soft is gonna release out a little bit more. Type this probably one X is gonna bite essentially. And that's with me being a little higher swing player there as well. Um, so yeah, kind of interesting there to see the Titus Probe One X was 101 feet in the air, where the Wilson Dual Soft was 98 feet in the air as well. So, pretty. The most important takeaway with the wedge was spin. So we lost about a little over a thousand RPMs of spin. So spin is king for stopping power. So that was a pretty important takeaway there. So let's take a look at seven iron. So seven iron. The uh, Pro V1 X did have almost two miles an hour more ball speed, 127.4 versus 125.7. As I mentioned, the club speed very similar, so you can take away that the Pro V1 X does have a little bit more ball speed again than the Wilson Dual Soft. Uh, if we look, the the big difference here for sure is spin. Spin is going to be the biggest takeaway from today for sure. Um, Titleist Pro V1 X with the seven iron was spinning at 56.36. The Wilson Dual Soft was spinning at 41.39. So quite a lot less spin. That's, that's 1500 RPMs less spin. So the bull is gonna go so much further and release out so much more with Wilson Dual Soft, even though it had less bull speed. So the carry distance with the Wilson Dual Soft was 193. Carry distance with the Titus Probe One X was 185.1. So even low, Titus Probe One X had more ball had more ball speed. It went eight yards shorter in carry distance, and with regards to the stopping power, uh, 193 carry going 206 with the Wilson Dual stuff. So notice that is 13 yards. 185 going 193. Notice that is eight yards. So it took five yards longer for the Wilson Dual Soft to stop as well. So it was going 13 yards further, almost 13 yards further with the Wilson Dual Soft than the Titus Pro One X. That is due to that spin difference. 1500 RPM to spin is a huge, huge difference. If we look at the height, 102, 104. So flying fairly, fairly similar height. Wilson Dual Soft just didn't have much spin on it as you know at all really you could see and we can take a look at this dispersion on the right here you can see that the Titleist Pro V1 X the purple circle was a little bit more consistent and the uh, blue circle with the Wilson Dual Soft was a little bit larger and also going further so big kind of difference there with regards to uh, 7 iron versus 7 iron if we look at driver so again, my club speed separated by 0.2 miles an hour, so absolutely nothing in it. Ball speed with the Wilson Dual Soft 162, ball speed with the Titleist Pro One X 161. So with the driver, I lost five miles an hour ball speed using the Wilson Dual Soft. I know what golf ball that I should be playing, and that is going to be a more premium golf ball. Um, if we look at other numbers, it's kind of interesting to see how the spin was pretty similar. So spin, we're talking about 50 yards to spin, but you'll notice I lost five miles an hour ball speed. Five miles an hour ball speed is going to be probably around about eight or 10 yards difference in, uh, in carry 
Yeah, so carry distance with the Wilson Dill stuff was 282.7. Carry distance with the Titus Pro B1X was 290.6. So I lost eight yards by, if I was going to use the Wilson Dill soft. Picked up eight yards with the Titus Pro B1X. Similar, because the spin rate and because the height were very, very similar between the two of them, uh, they both released out the same amount. I just lost a little bit of distance there with the softer golf ball versus the premium golf ball there too. So kind of really interesting takeaway in comparing these two models, comparing like a premium golf ball or comparing a more budget soft golf ball. I know what golf ball I would much rather play. Golf ball fittings are very important. So when you do complete a fitting with us in the store or online, make sure that you talk about golf ball because golf ball absolutely matters. It is very, very important to get yourself into the right golf ball. Not only do some golf balls spin more, some balls fly a little bit higher, some have a softer feel. And as we could see with today's test, I absolutely should be playing more premium golf ball. So I definitely would pay extra money to play the more premium ball as opposed to the budget golf ball. Thanks for watching. Bye.